What's happening? What's happening, La Familia? We back in this thing with another one, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and turn post notifications on to all. Because y'all already know, man, we got a crazy, 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 crazy situation to talk about. I appreciate, man, all the love y'all been giving, man. And let's keep it going, man. Let's take it even further, man. Let's see if we can go to that next level you know what i'm saying let's see if we had a point where we can break away go to the next level solidify our name in the game and let the people know we here to stay man you know what i'm saying hey we don't want no fall offs we only want longevity you feel me but on the cool man we got the bank man y'all already know man big tbg that man fred O'Bang, and we also got that man hd for president you know what i'm saying as well as that man OB and J. And I know y'all. Uh, hey, I'm I'm a, hey, hold on, man. On the cool. We got duty black peoples. We got that man NBA Ben 10. You know what I'm saying? We got a crazy, crazy schedule for it today. Like I say, man, all the time. Y'all know we gonna rock out. Y'all know we gonna dive into it. And y'all know we gonna get down to the nigga and grit. Now, this is a video I probably should have put out yesterday, man, but I got kind of busy, man. You know, I be on the go, man. That ain't too much, man. I need to slow down sometimes, but on the cool, man. Uh, we're going to dive into everything. But first, I want to show y'all this snippet coming by way of that man, Fred O'Bang, man, because he dropped a new snippet despite all of, you know, the attention that's going on around TBG due to the fact that my boy Seven Hardaway passed away, man. And uh, I got some big things in the work coming pertaining to that situation. Y'all just stay tuned and be ready for whatever drops, man. With Seven Hardaway name on the title. Because I'm telling you, everything that's coming from my boy Seven is going to be big. Now, y'all go ahead and check out this snippet. And tell me what y'all think after it's over with. As y'all can see, man, that man Fred O'Bang, man, he pretty much, man, in good spirits, you know, still trying to stay positive despite all the trolling and BS that's going on online. And there's some things out there in the air that we're going to get into into another video, man. But I definitely think it's going to shock y'all. I will come back with that one because this one we got a bunch to talk about. And next up, we got that man Ghost Town Dino, which is Duty Black's people's man. And he has a message for HD for president. As he says, if Duty knew he was going to be effing with them op A dudes, Trust me, that song with HD wouldn't have been made with the laughing emojis. And that's facts. Once you F with an op, you become an op, dude. Don't know what the F you telling a dude. So why would a dude trust a dude and he F with ops? I don't want to hear all that defending dude stuff. This stuff deeper than what the F y'all know. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see, man, duty black people, Dino, he coming out and saying like, Duty Black would have never did that song with HD for president. Never uh, gave him that feature or whatever. Had he known that, you know, HD for president was going to come out and rock with people that he didn't rock with. Once you rock with people he don't rock with, you are now an op. And honestly, in my personal opinion, I see the point of view, you know, but at the end of the day, man, we got to start. You know, start looking at things for what it is, man. The music industry is a business, man. And when you're in the business world, you're going to have to do stuff with competitors and people that you normally wouldn't want to do stuff with. That's business. You're going to have to sacrifice, you know, uh, what you believe sometimes to get a little bit further, man. And that's what's got to be understood here. But that was not it from this man Dino, as he also goes on to say, HD showing me op vibes. Eventually, you're going to have to pick a side, dude. And honestly, man, uh, what I take from this, man, I, I take that he been feeling this way. You know, for you to come out and put all this out there, you know what I'm saying? 
you been not liking HD. Let's just keep it real though, man. And see, that's the problem too, bro. The problem is too many people picking sides, man. That's what got things split. You need those certain people who are willing to do business with both sides, man, because they keep things from being so segregated. You know, and that's a problem with black people and the black community. People always want to pick and choose sides and segregate things, man. We've been conditioned way too much. That was the whole point of segregation and everything that was going on back then. It's conditioned, you know, the black man's mind to the point where we feel like we got to segregate in everything that we do. We got to separate each other in everything that we do. That Willie Lynch type of mentality, man. We got to lose that, bro. That's what is destructive. Stop thinking like this. If this man wants to go do business with somebody else, as long as he ain't in the middle of y'all situation in the streets, allow him to do his business. Stop trying to hold each other back. That's a problem. But let's go ahead and see what HD for President had to say. HD for President goes on to say under his picture, unity with Baton Ridge rappers is what our city needs. Dudes trying to open doors for the city. It's more money when we come together. At Fred O'Bain, at OBNJ. You see I'm adding both of those names and we're going to get into all that. But I do second what this man, HD for president, is saying. And no, 4K Trey fans, it's not because it's Fredo. But it is Fredo that is doing a lot of the reaching out and uniting. Y'all call it clicking up. Y'all try to make it seem like it's cowardly. But what y'all don't understand is a friend of thy enemy is a friend. That is, that's the first rule to WAR. You know, that's how allies are created in battle and how people ultimately usually win a battle. You need an ally. You know what I'm saying? You don't win a WAR by going into a fight yourself. French and Indian WAR. If it wasn't for them uniting with the Indians, they would have lost that situation. And you can go on throughout the test of time and it shows you that. You know what I'm saying? You can't be one standalone entity and think that you're going to overpower a multitude that are coming from so many different ways. It's not the way that it works. But on the flip side, in pertaining to this situation, you cannot be so backwards minded where you're holding your city back because you don't want to do music with certain people from certain sides who associate with certain people there's always going to be connections whether it's on the surface or under the surface Fred bang has came out publicly and stated that boosie is his first cousin he's a givens as well as bbgd has came out and said that Fredo is his cousin you know what i'm saying you also got fl dussa on live with uh that man boosie uh boosie boy debo you got uh, Wells, BBG Wells, saying he lock in with Boulevard quick. You got Seven Hardaway and BBG Block talking behind the scenes. Lil Ivy, Ray's Finn. You got so many ties. You know, Pig was uh, Finn's cousin. And Pig is the one who allegedly took Ivy's life. You know what I'm saying? It's so many ties, man. It's so many ties that, you know, it's hard to not associate with somebody who associates with somebody and we're gonna do a video on that situation as well man just the ties between all of these rappers in baton rouge man because it definitely runs deep but to try to say if you associate with the ops you're an op that means that somebody that's sitting right next to you who might got your ops blood running through his veins and you don't know really how he's feeling he might be on some family first i believe that this is reaction from that man being 10 due to the situation that's going on right now as he states these dudes are females i'm talking about on both sides of the field yeah so you, as you can see man that man feel like you know everybody who is connecting are broads you know what i'm saying of course that has been 4k trade's viewpoint on locking in with other artists for some time now man they've been feeling like if you ain't 4k Trey, then we not rocking with you if you don't have some tie to 4K Trey, we're not rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? And I, I understand, but then again, I don't understand, man, because that is not going to benefit the rap scene out in Baton Rouge, man. So many different conglomerates can be built 
based off of, you know, just making connections, man. You know, when the people at the top reach down to these mid-level artists who are trying to get there, but they just need that cosign to be solidified. Because as, as we all know, when you get a cosign, that makes people come. When they see their favorite artists liking you, they're going to try to ride that wave because they feel like you're the next hot thing. And that helps you blow to another level, man. So, I, I, honestly, man, um, that, that ain't been good for nobody. We know the allegations that have been going on with Boosie Name for quite some time. The TBG stuff that Lit Yoshi came out and exposed. Him and Seven. You know, also the stuff that went on with uh, Blue. And all the rest of the artists that was on Boosie's label. Them talking about Boosie is the only one who wanted shine. Boosie didn't want to help pull anybody else up. We know the allegations that have been placed upon him. So, that's, that's not helping anybody. You know, at the end of the day, man, we got to stop looking at it as clicking up and start looking at connecting with each other as a way to generate revenue for our communities. You know what I'm saying? The music industry is not owned by us. The only way we can get there is by connecting together, putting that bag together and trying to buy back those stocks. I'm just saying. Oh my you in your thirties, you too old for that. My youngest I go standing with the system, take your soul for that. SK got a stock when I hop out and then I fold it back. Put 30 on the 30, flip the clip and then I load it back. Hey, hey, HK, you bring get on my dick. I don't want you wrong because you worse it in my bitch. Let me go and get this tape with my bro together. This big business over here. First collab with a legend. That's HD for president, man. He's trying to unite the city, man. And this right here shocked me when I seen this pick. Fredo Bang and OBNJ. As we all know, OBNJ rocks with the BBGs, man. OBNJ has been a long time opposition of Fredo Bang. And I'm sure that that man, HD for president, is the biggest reason why these men came together. But that man, OBNJ and Fredo Bang, actually doing this pick together shows maturity it shows growth this is a huge monumental moment for baton rouge like the situation that happened out there in fort worth with bugatti casino and cj reuniting and squashing that this is going to generate more revenue and of course you know obnj might be on the back end of his career at this point but it's still huge man it's still huge it shows people don't be afraid to squash situations that can be squashed. Don't be afraid to squash something, man. Real men can sit down and have a conversation. They can let stuff go. You know, it, that's the problem, man. That's a problem, man, is that we feel like once our pride is hurt, we got to stand on that forever until, you know, somebody's gone. No, it ain't got to be like that, man. That's backwards. That's backwards, man. Squash it, that way you can get to your bread Because no matter who you are Beef destroys your pockets Beef is a broke dude's sport That's all it is, man It costs too much Not only does it cost your pockets But it costs your freedom or your life If you can squash it, squash it And I respect this move Shout out to HD for president, man Shout out to OBNJ and Fred Bang, man For coming together and resolving these issues That should have been resolved years ago Stuff that never should have stuff that never should have been pushed JP to this point. You feel me? But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, man. Getting too loud around my house right now, man. So I gotta go out here and calm some stuff down. But yeah, I love y'all family. Peace and blessings. And all praise be to the most high.